Welcome back to another episode of Good Luxus. I'm your host, Ellie. And I'm your host, Tati J. And today we are back with a wonderful episode for y'all. So I know since we've gotten back, we recorded an episode with a guest. And now um, today we recorded two more episodes. And the first ep- the episode today is just more of us, you know, doing a recap of where we were in the month of March and April when we're MIA. And the reason why is Tati was on bridesmaid's duty and I was a bride getting ready to get married. Period. Period. (laughs) (laughs) So I know some of you guys had asked about um, Bachelorette. What happened? You know, how did it go? And today we are here to fill you in on Bachelorette and wedding. So today we're going to answer some of y'all questions, give you a little recap on the past couple of months. And yes, your girl is a whole wife in the wifey era. Okay. Who would have thought? Who would have thought we would be here right (laughs) now? (laughs) God. Mm, God. Only God. Toast to God. Only God. Toast to God. (laughs) Mm -hmm. All right. So in March, um, we went to um, our bachelor, my bachelorette. And my bachelorette yeah. was in Playa del Carmen in Mexico. So yes, we had a good was. time. And I want to say yeah. shout out to my um, bridal party, okay? Um, my bridal party, amazing. Um, my maid of honor, Janessa. My matron of honor, um, Jordi. And I had my girls from college, Tati, Tasha, and then my cousin, um, Carlanta and Kiki, and then the groomswoman who um, is my sister-in-law, Mina. Amazing. And then also on my bachelorette that joined me were some of my childhood friends, um, Maya, Kim, and um, Cindy. And I am so thankful. Like, I sent out the message um, for the to the people that um, I wanted to come. And then Tati just reached out to people for me. And it was just amazing how everyone was like, yes, I'm coming. I thought it was just going to be like three, four people. But everyone's like, we're here. We're coming. It was like one of the like 12 of us. It was, first of all, it was 12 of us. 12. Total. And people declined. Like, it was supposed to be more. And some people couldn't make yeah. it. Yeah. And I was, Ellie has a lot of friends. I... <laughs> And blessed not to have that problem. I am just proud that Ellie's bridal party was as small as it ended up being, mm-hmm. which is probably still big to other people because I thought she was about to have 15 bridesmaids. Honestly, <laughs> true. No, no, no. But what did I tell you in the beginning? It was hard choosing yeah. bridesmaids because I do have a lot yeah. of friends, but I had to think about the past couple of years mm-hmm. who were here, who was here, and who showed up for me. And you know, who am I the closest to? And mm-hmm. I wanted to keep it up to six girls and I didn't want to go above that. So I think of like my closest six, you know, and I'm like, mm-hmm. bet those, these are my girls. Like these are the girls I know I can call and they're going to show up. These are the girls I could be like, yo, I'm in jail and they're going to show mm-hmm. up for me. And I, I want to say I've heard so many things about, choosing your bridesmaids, how you lose friends during your um, planning your wedding. And I made sure to take note. And I'm like, I know these girls are not problematic. <laughs> like my friends, these girls are no problems. OK, the smoothest like wedding planning with this bridal party. Send a message. Boom. How can I help mm-hmm. you? Friends here were helping me like they did more of the heavy lifting when it came to like um the bachelorette and one thing about me everyone knows i'm a little much of a control freak i like to plan things on my own so my friends knowing that i remember the moment um i was playing the bachelorette i already told tati and i told janessa my best friend who was my maid um, maid of honor i was like i want tati to help plan the bachelorette because i've taken trips with tati before so she really knows me and I was already putting together itinerary and everything like that. And immediately there was one day I couldn't come up with something. And Tati and Janessa was like, it's okay. 
forget it. We're going to plan it for you. It's going to be a surprise. And I was like, stop it, guys. Thank you so it much. <laughs> right? well, hold you. It, it, it definitely was stressful because when you think about Mexico, a lot of people think, okay, Tulum or Cancun. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, well, how far is Cancun if we were to do this? Like I was looking, I was looking, shout out to TikTok, shout out to Black TikTok because through there I found the activity which we'll talk about. And to me, that was like, the funnest day like it yes. was so much fun so the girls surprised me with a boat party um and it was so much fun we got on the boat it's other people on the boat so we were we weren't the only people on the boat so when we got there there were other people on the boat and you can tell these people were ready to party and i'm still yeah. like I haven't been outside for a year. I don't know what to do. I'm still like a little sheltered, like, yeah. hello, hello. It's like a little bit, like a little bit for her to get. A little sip, sip. Okay. So um, the people hosting this boat party were ready to party, okay? They're like, <laughs> shot, shot, shots. Like everyone, bottles, bottles, you know, they're like, you know, mm-hmm. trying to drive the boat. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's been forever. And I'm like, you know, girl, it's your day. People are here for you. Let's have fun. So, you know, we started a little toast, toast, little mm-hmm. shot, shot. <laughs> I don't know. Everything was free. Everything, everything was, was free. free. No. I don't know how Michael many. Just kept coming. I don't know how many shots later. Mm. Antuka. I just remembered. Yeah. <laughs> I just Ali. remembered me crying. Mind you, bawling. Mind you, Axadi, I've never cried. Like out of no. uh, like years of being friends, all my friends, I'm more on the. Yeah. Tati can tell you, I'm more on the aggressive side. This <laughs> drunk, yeah. yeah I'm He's on aggressive. the aggressive side. But for this trip, I think it was just like everyone says that your wedding is that one time where people really show up for you. Some people. Mm-hmm. But people, your main people, the people who love you really show up for you. And this is the one time <laughs> Tati knows why she's laughing. <laughs> and um, this is when you're like full main character, like everyone, you're like the center yeah. of attention. And it really felt mm-hmm. like that. Like I felt the love, like, like my friends were just here to like really support me and really have a good time for me. And that's why, that's what made me really cry. Like just to see how everyone was really here for me and to celebrate me. And it just made me feel so happy. And then on top of that, it also made me happy because I was like, I'm marrying the love of my life. Like, Oh my goodness. Like I'm still in the, Oh my goodness. Like I never expected this. (laughs) I never expected this, but God gave this to me kind of a moment still in my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so blessed. So I was just feeling the blessings and I just got so emotional. I got so emotional to the point the the guy on the boat was just like, are you okay? Like the host. I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just happy. (laughs) Yeah, But like I said, them them drinks kept coming. And Ellie, at one point, let's take another one. Let's take another one. I was like, they're on me, guys. Shots on me. (laughs) <laughs> like they're free, so that's one thing. It was amazing, but good times. It was, uh, it was a hip hop uh, boat crew, so the music was good. Everyone on the boat was ready to have a good time. Mm-hmm. There was a twerking contest. We were able to get on jet skis. Yes. Like it was. Um, I'm gonna look and find the name of the place, and it'll probably be a post on our um, Instagram sometime when this episode comes out. Yeah. That way, if anyone's ever interested, they can go. Um, we'll share yeah, hotel. Fun- we'll share hotel details too. Not a hundred percent. Um, the hotel was a the food was amazing, but as for the hotel, yeah. Hilton, honey, you can do better. And I'm still I'm yeah. still in a battle with them, trying to get some points. Yeah. Um, for it, how they um the whole room situation, the whole room situation was wasn't the best. Shout out to Ellie and Jenessa because it was, first of all, it was me, Cindy, and Tasha, three girls in one room. And granted, it worked out fine. It wasn't like a space issue, a bathroom issue. I think our pers- all three of our personalities went so well. We're just also chill. But we can't deny the fact three girls trying to use the bathroom. It's going to be, you know, and the bathroom is not working. Mm-hmm. That's an issue. The bathroom wasn't Literally, working. Um, my sister-in-laws, um, three of them in one room. Um, but the rooms were very spacious. Their yeah. their bathroom door, it wouldn't um, open. So if you're inside, you would get locked. And I called Hilton. They turned off the water 
I wasn't working from one point in the shower. So then, but thank God, Ellie and Janessa were right across from us. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm, let's be honest, every time one of us had to shit, knock, knock, knock. <laughs> I'm there, like, four Yay! o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. No, no red ass, four o'clock in the morning. In the crazy, and it was me. And the crazy thing that uh-huh. happened, um, again, when I was on the phone with Hilton, try to explain to them. So their door had an issue. It wouldn't shut. And a yeah, drunk door. Um, girl, girl walked into their room. Yeah. And I tried and to explain that to her. Her 21st, which were more, I'm sure if it was one of us Bridget. that did that, I'm way. <laughs> like, right. but the thing is, it was so like, me and Sydney were in the room and we looked and we just like, like our face was just like, what's going on? And her dad was with her, thank God. He's like, this is not a room. She goes, no, it is. Cause look, it has the sash. Cause our room had the sash as being part of the bridal party. It's her 21st birthday. So her room has, he's like, no, it's not our room. I think her name was Mackenzie. It's not our room, Mackenzie. We got to go. And she kept getting closer. And then to me, and her city was told me, she goes, so I didn't know if we were going to have a problem. Cause I started getting ready when she started coming close to you. But it was just one of those moments <laughs> where like, it's just a memory and shout out to her dad. He was so embarrassed, but so sweet. But then later on in the trip, um, he found he found some of the girls we were on the trip on and bought them premium shots as an oh. apology to us. Oh, I didn't as, know like, that. Sorry. Yeah. That's I'm pretty like, nice. Hi. That's really nice. But that other than nice. that, yeah. the food at the hotel, amazing. Um, the service, yeah. amazing. It's just the rooms they need to do better. Don't yeah. worry, guys. I, one thing about me. I'm going a, I'm to a find a way to get my discount and I'm going to call Hilton to figure it out. Um, but exactly. other than that, the, um, the Bachelor was amazing. Um, Saturday night, we went to this amazing restaurant. It was Greek oh, theme. Yes. I just El- Ilios, I'll post that information there too. Ilios, it I'm was, a- they have the... Yes. Um, Opa. Opa. and they break the plates as a tradition the yes. service they're amazing the food there the vibe the is a 10 out of 10 yep. and shout out the to tasha's man. um tasha's friend, friend. i will we, we gotta definitely put his information out there too yes because we'll, he helps put groups together and travel yes and we'll put his information so he helped with the groups he put the he was able to get us a ride um to get to the um the dinner Rest- and one thing about playa del carmen is everything's close so we could have Very walked cool. there but there was no way I was going to walk there with my, my heels. That was, heels. that wasn't working. Um, but other than that, it was so much fun. Um, I a hundred percent recommend apply Del Carmen. There's several hotels. So if you guys don't stay at that specific hotel, there's other hotels that you can definitely stay at. But yes. yeah, so yeah. Bachelor was amazing. Um, shout out again to my friends, um, my bridal party and friends that helped plan the bachelorette. And then after oh, that, yes. our wedding um, my <laughs> wedding um, was in April, April 11th, and yes. it was just a great day. It was just such an amazing, beautiful day. And just to be, again, surrounded by um, amazing friends and family and the love was just amazing. Um, so Wednesday, the wedding was on a Thursday. And for those who are in the um, period of planning for a wedding, just know, yes, Thursday is cheaper to have your wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, so we had our dinner party. Um, welcome slash dinner party on Wednesday. So it was a time for people to mingle and it was a lot of people. I was just like, Ooh. yeah. And a, a lot of people didn't come too because the weather wasn't the best in um, Texas that week, but God is good all the time because mm-hmm. that day for the it wedding, didn't it didn't perfect. rain, perfect weather. Um, but yes, it was just a great day. The girls were so amazing. Um, getting ready was, you know, it went so smooth. Um, and I had the best wedding planner ever. Valerie, amazing. And she is actually my Melon Monday for today. But hold on, I'll share her information later. (laughs) So Valerie is my wedding planner. And it was so funny. I didn't actually cry walking down the aisle. I was just so happy to see my man anyway. But um, I actually cried upstairs with Valerie because she had helped me so much during the process. I originally, being the type A person I am, I was like, I'm gonna plan the wedding on my own. And my sister-in-law was helping me plan the wedding, which shout out to her. She did amazing, amazing. She like took control, um, you know, message all the vendors for me. Like, you know, she did a lot of heavy lifting. Um, but I was like, I don't need a wedding planner. I don't know why people need wedding planners. But let mm-hmm. me tell you right now, for those who are planning their wedding, yes, you do need a wedding planner. Maybe the first six months you can handle things. But honey, after... 
that's the other six months right before your wedding, you need a wedding planner because it will make life so much easier. And a lot of times finding a wedding planner can be hard. But the one thing I can say is your wedding planner has to represent you because like Mm -hmm. Valerie's so much like me, like I she's uh, her attention to detail and just her vibe in general is just like a match. Like I couldn't do a wedding planner who was a little uptight and so serious. Yeah, I was like, okay, it needs to be like this. Like I couldn't do that. I needed the the laughs. I need the the you know the chillness. And um, yeah. um, two months before the wedding, she took me out to brunch, and that's how we met. And we like um, this is this was our first time meeting, and um, you know we went through the wedding stuff. And she just took control of that day and, you know, so smoothly, like the day I didn't have to worry about things. And, you know, you can ask Tati, like I, I was still a little hands on with things like, guys, let's do this, guys, let's do this. But I, you know, I try to tell myself that day, let me relax. It's my day. And let me that just be chill. literally a point where Ellie's like, guys, don't forget to put all your stuff together. I literally was like, Ellie, <laughs> stop. <laughs> we're, we, I'm like, we're not kids. We're going to put our stuff away. Enjoy. She's like, oh God, I know I'm going to enjoy it. I'm like, no, Ellie. Yeah. Enjoy. I just don't know moment. how to do it. I just have a such a, I like to like lead. I like to take control of like, a situation that's just me in general mm-hmm. like i'll be the one to be like if they're like okay let's separate into groups if i enter into a group yeah. all right so how are we doing this how are we working yeah. this out like that's just my personality mm-hmm. um and it was just amazing because like i knew i didn't have to worry about anything else she handled everything so amazingly and um just the day just went great and um it one did. thing people um brides before have told me is that like the day does go by really fast so the best thing to do is just to enjoy it as much as possible Mm -hmm. be be present and that's what I did honey like every moment every second I got I'm like ah taking it all in like looking at everybody like you know doing their own thing and it's just like I remember like different parts of that day yeah and I just felt so relaxed that day. Like I have no regrets, and it was just, it was just perfect. That's amazing. That's how it's supposed to be. But honestly, if this, I mean this in the best way possible. Seeing Ellie's wedding, I don't think I can get married in that way <laughs> because the way Ellie's calm. There was a point I don't know if you remember this, where I got upset at something going on, and I had to call the wedding plan. I wasn't upset at the wedding. Plan. I know. I know what. I know what part. I was like. So what are we about to do? Because this mm-hmm. is unacceptable. Right, right, right. Because number one, Ellie's not going to, she shouldn't have to deal with it. She's the bride and enjoy her time. But she was so, so like, and I was like, ah, me, I'm not saved. I'm not there yet. <laughs> you know, I'm not because one- going to roll with the punches yet. I'm going to freak out and be mad and my voice is going to raise. Yeah. So I'm just like. Mm. One thing I learned is that when you're in a situation, sometimes it's just better to stay calm and let it work out. And it did work out. It worked out for the best. Yeah, because I, I, I got her on the phone. Yeah. I was like, so we just need me to start saying. It did work out for the best. Um, So I think I talked to Tati about this, but two days before my wedding, I found out that I had my dress custom made and it was made in Nigeria and then it was shipped like a month before and I got to al- um, do alterations and everything. Um, And then that same week of the wedding, last minute, we had to do some changes for Tati's dress and we, talk about that. <laughs> we had to do some changes for Tati's dress. But in that same shipment, my veil was supposed to come. So I, you know, I knew the dress was, I knew the dress, Tati's dress was going to come that day and my veil was going to come. Open up the box. I see Tati's dress. I'm like, okay, guys, Tati's dress is here. Open up the box. When I open the box, open up the box, I look inside. My veil is not there, guys. I see this silk fabric and I'm like, where's the veil? Automatically, my heart drops, like drops. My mm. sister-in-law, my matron of honor, she looks at me and she's like, where's the veil? I said, I don't know. Where, I had to walk veil? away because I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to deal. And, and I, I let her look in the box. because was like, maybe I'm blind. I didn't see it. Mm-hmm. And then she like calls up the lady in Nigeria and she's like, I, where's the veil? I don't know where the veil is. Like, you know, I don't see the veil in there. And there was this whole situation where the lady was not the one that shipped it. She has someone that works with her. So the veil wasn't shipped. So now two days before this wedding, we are hitting the streets looking, Mm -hmm. going to every bridal um, shop, looking for a veil. 
every store it's arm and leg and i'm like nope i can't afford that can't afford that and when it's now seven o'clock so we started looking around 12 it's now seven o'clock we finally go to one bridal shop we get there we're like try to open the door the door won't open i'm like oh this is the sign from god walking without a mm-hmm. veil and custom wise religious religious reasons i have to walk with a veil you know it's just mm-hmm. um so i'm like oh shoot well we're gonna try tuesday um no we're gonna try wednesday this happened on tuesday so we're gonna try on wednesday last minute we're gonna look for a veil actually instead of giving up i called the bridal shop and I'm like, hey, like I'm trying to get into your store, um, but it looks like it's closed. She's like, no, no, you have to come around. And I'm like, then I felt a little like at ease. I'm like, okay, there's hope. So I walk in and I'm like, God, I'm praying in my heart, like God, like I know you can help me find a um, a veil. Like I know you can do this, God. And we walk in and she's like, what are you looking for? I'm like, I'm looking for a cathedral veil. And she's like, okay. And she's showing me um, a few veils. And she finally shows me one and um, she tells me the price. I'm like, okay, we can do this. And then she's like, do you want to take this? I'm like, yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for. And it was exactly how my dress was too. So it worked out. And my sister-in-law the whole time was like, I'm nervous that you're not panicking. The whole time we were driving, she's like, how come you're not panicking? How come you're not freaking out? And I'm like, one thing about me, whenever I find myself in situations that are like, like, I just don't know what to do. I just say silent and I'm praying in my heart. I'm praying mm-hmm. in my heart and I'm saying silent because I know it's not me that's going to figure it out. I know it's God. And it just Period. worked out like how it was supposed to work out. And the thing is that like I in the past, I freaked out for situations I couldn't um, mm-hmm. change or I couldn't like um, handle at the moment. And then I look back and I'm like, wow, why couldn't I just like relax? And as I look back now, like. I actually enjoyed that day going out with my sister-in-laws and looking for the veil. Like we laughed, we had a good time, but if I was actually like panicking and stressed, it would have just been a terrible day. So it's just like, sometimes when you can't, um, you just can't manage or just like handle a situation, just stay relaxed and pray to God. You know, Mm -hmm. he got it in control a hundred percent. But mm-hmm. yes, so um, Tati's dress, um, so all the bridesmaids dresses were also made in Nigeria. So Tati gets her dress and I mm-hmm. think Tati has shared this, but she had yeah. surgery. Yes. So I didn't think to email the lady Tati's measurements, her new measurements. We didn't get new measurements. So I don't, it was October, the measurements were doing, and I, I texted, I was like, Ellie, I'm going to have surgery. So yeah. should I still send this? She's like, yeah, I still send it because you know, like, it, but I don't know, like, it was basically to still send it. But me and Ellie just never thought I should probably get remeasured. Yeah, we just to send the, we, we just, just didn't think. Hit we weren't thinking. And then the dress comes. Tati's like, it just it's too much. Like when she bought to like get it fixed, they were like, we can't get it fixed. I got to three different tailors. They're like, we can't, they do can't this. get she it fixed. It. And then last minute, like, I think two weeks before the wedding. Um, we messaged a lady and she's like, yeah, we can do a whole new dress. So they were able to do a whole because new dress for Tati. And shout, shout out to Tati for being a good sport because she had to pay again for it. And honestly, it's okay. It's okay. you the dress, do you mind me sharing the price of the dress? Yeah, I don't mind. The dress is one thirty. First of all, that's unheard of in bride me <laughs> culture. So on th- one thirty, okay, whatever. And then I was like, okay, everyone's telling me I have to ship the dress back. So I go to ship it. Shipping was 300 I called Ellie so bad. Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> and this is me. At the end of the day, it's not about me. It's about my friend. Mm-hmm. I was like, Ellie, this one's going to cost $300. i am like, I'll do it. I'll do it. But I'm letting you know they say it's going to cost $300. And I was like, no, we're just going to get the dress made again. Yeah. Because what, $300 and the dress costs 130 So then, mind you, this is two weeks, two weeks. and maybe three days mm-hmm. before the wedding. So now I have, and I'm running around. I ran around all day to three different tailors. Everyone's saying no. Then I was like, crap, I have to go get measurements. So then I go home, go back to the tailor to get my measurements. Oh, I can't do it anymore. So then I have to go back to someone, get measurements, and then go to the mall to get bra measured, my bra size, because she needed my bra size. And I don't know my bra size anymore because I got the surgery. Why did I say I was running around all day, all day? All, I was from Stoughton to Randolph to Roxbury, back to Stoughton, back to Randolph to Brantry. It was just a day. And then all this, and then, mind you, Sydney, the same way you were calm, Sydney and Ashley asking me, 
you're not stressing that baby. What can I be stressed about? <laughs> I know either because way. What can I do? I know either way. She was gonna get the dress done, and it was gonna come in time, and it did. It came exactly Mama two days. Told me, literally two days before the wedding. It came two days before and the wedding. Literally, I flew in. The wedding was Thursday. I flew in. Me and my mom flew in on Tuesday with bags in hands. Took an Uber straight to Ellie's house. Not even to her Airbnb. Straight to Ellie's house. Ellie wasn't even there. Mm-hmm. And then um, Ellie's um, husband was there. And he's like, I was like, hey, 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 where's the dress? <laughs> he's like, it's in there. Tried it on. Still a little too big, but we could work with what we got. Yeah. I ended up having to stuff, which is ironic because me having big breasts all my life, having to stuff a dress to make my boots fit. It, it was looked, like ironic. It looked oh. amazing on you. It looked great. And. You know, that's just the sense. But like I said, I wasn't stressing because it's like, my mom's clothes, you had even two options. You buy a dress as a wedding guest just in case it don't work or you find another white dress that's similar that you can wear yeah. at the bridal party to anticipate your mission of honor. I'm not, I was like, so- I'm not a bridezilla. Let alone Tati, you can't. And then on top of that, you know, like... This is also the woman who says if someone's pregnant, they couldn't walk in her wedding. Which- you know what? You know what? I still stand by it. And but the, I mean, maybe the wedding's done. The wedding, so. yeah. I, <laughs> um, and the funny thing is that, like, um, as I think now, the other day I was just sitting. I was like, oh my gosh, if one of my friends are getting married sometime soon, I yeah. hope that I, I can still walk in their wedding if I'm pregnant. Like, I would be hurt if they one of them said I couldn't. Oh my god! Or if, like, um, I oh. saw this post. This girl went to a bachelorette and she was pregnant. And if one of my friends were pregnant, they were trying to go to my bachelor. You can't come because, like, one thing about me, I'm like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Like, I don't want to do that on my day for you. Okay, like it sounds mean, but you know, I, I want you, I want you to be safe. I want you to be okay. Okay, like you can. I mean, we can, if I go to a bachelorette where I'm shaking ass, I'm just gonna tell you, <laughs> you shouldn't come. Ex- you shouldn't I mean, come. If you're fine but i'm also not gonna be like oh, are you okay i'm like bitch you wanted to come i'm gonna get drunk <laughs> so, like that's just what it is yeah but yeah the wedding was beautiful and baby when i was i was boohooing up in that altar <laughs> i think i was sitting next to carlotta and i can say oh my god she's a wife <laughs> oh my god she's a wife bitch i was boo- oh my god so our friend maya was oh my goodness wrong wing her eyes out like and i was just like damn sis are you getting married she was, and maya's a naturally beautiful girl she does not wear makeup like that and i know she did it that day because she probably knew like flooded face flooded with tears and i looked at her and i was like oh shit here we go <laughs> if it wasn't gonna hit me before it's gonna hit me now and if you know maya and you know her personality yeah seeing her cry, cry watching someone get married Hits you even harder than seeing someone else yeah. cry. Everyone was telling me that they were bawling their eyes. And I made it through, besides before walking in, I was crying with my um, wedding coordinator be- because I was so blessed of just yeah. everything that she did that I, I was sharing my like gratitude towards her. Um, and then um, when I was at the walking up to the altar, didn't cry. And then it was time to say vows. And then I started my Ooh, vows I mean, and I was like, Jesus. <laughs> I had to start over three times. three times. And then the third time, time, I was like, girl, get it together. You know, I got to cry. I like, on April 21st, 2021, I... <laughs> <laughs> on, April 21st. <gasps> on, April 21st. on April 2021. And then I was able to continue. And I was just like, because the third time I was like, girl, if you end up crying, you have to pass the mic to the pastor because you're not doing your vows. I was because, like, because what I was about to say, sorry, sorry. And it's just so funny how after everyone was like, I was bawling my eyes up there. Like everyone's telling Maybe. me how much you were bawling their eyes at the wedding. I'm like, oh, like, thank you. But after that, was that, so that was the only time we cried. And yeah, yeah and I always I said, I don't know why people cry. Like, I don't know. I always said, I don't know why people cry when they get proposed to. I don't know why people cry at their wedding. And here I was, boohooing, just crying. This is at least still thinking she's emotionless. Like, I as if she has any the way I've evolved, I I never used to be that girl that cried, and here I am crying every day. Yeah. Like I could just be, be sitting at home. We were at Tati's um um at St. Martin's um mm. two years last mm-hmm. year. We were at St. Martin's last year after just getting last um year. proposed to, and we're just like, ah, I was about to post on Instagram that yeah. you know I'm a fiance, and here I am just started crying, and everyone's like, she's Are you okay? Okay? and Tati's like, no, she's okay. Like I just think about like man the the misery i've been 
through before <laughs> getting here. I just say God and is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. And I just want to say it's so like, I, I, you know, Haitians, I've been in weddings when I was little, mom's friends, blah, blah, blah. And like, I was in my godmother's wedding and I cried for that because my godmother is like my everything. She's everything for me. So it was really, I'm, and she's been through a lot. So I was so happy to see her get married. But this wedding was different. Aww. It's different seeing your friend, your, and you, and you know, like as friends, and like even with my godmother, I saw the trials and tribulations, but she's not talking to me on the phone, breaking down, crying, or telling me how niggas ain't shit. Like she's not going to details with me. Mm-hmm. So to witness Ellie get to this point, knowing in detail, Tati knows the, the details. <laughs> so it, it, it was different and it's like and the minute we saw Ellie got engaged our little group chat situation is God's in the neighborhood God, and baby, baby. Not one, never, God's in the neighborhood God is in the and, neighborhood and I, it's just it was such a beautiful thing and I, didn't, I knew I was going to cry but I didn't think I was going to cry like that and I was just like wow like I'm just so happy for my friend uh, and I'm so happy to see it and I'm so happy to be and a honey, part of it and one thing for sure we've been telling y'all for now for sure now one thing for certain I'm now officially like Tati's family because at this point I'm calling your family cuz because we got the same last name now like look at God so- <laughs> Yes. Ellie's last name is the same now as my mom's like, last right? name. Right? Isn't this so weird? So we're, I was talking to one of our friend's um, boyfriend who was at the wedding and he was like, on the tables, I saw the name and I was like, who is at the table that's Andy's family? And he was so confused. And, told, and I turned around looking like, who the hell is at their table that's Andy? I'm like, oh, my mom. My mom. Like, yeah. We got the same last it name. <laughs> yeah. So it was such a beautiful thing to witness. And then one thing I would just say too, I think, first of all, I wish all four of us got a picture together because we didn't need to be in um, yeah. Things were, you know, it's, it's a big, it's a long day. It's a big day. Things were happening. But with our friend group, and I'm just so grateful that like, all four of us have become friends together. Because yeah. even though it's like I had individual friendships with three of you guys, but we've come together at the council, White Toe Summer. Like we have our memories as our core group. And it's just like, you know, recently we had news within our group and we were just like, oh my God, like this is life. And then just our reactions to each other's successes and joys. Mm-hmm. It's just like, Oh my goodness, like, we're as a group that, like, when we're all married, we're going to be taking those couple trips, we're going to be taking those family trips, Mm -hmm. and it's just so, it's such a blessing to have friends that you can do that with. It's great. And celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. But that was Mm -hmm. our episode. It's just, um, for everyone who's in their bridal season, I'm wishing you all the best. I will do another episode, um, part two of the do's and don't and what to look out for while planning, Mm -hmm. um, your wedding. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. But, um, for today's Mel and Monday, um, I want to shout out my wedding planner, Valerie. Um, so Valerie, um, her company is called V Events and Design, and we are hoping to have her on an episode soon. And yes. she is just amazing to work with. When I tell you, she devotes her time and for everything, and the professionalism is amazing. Um, she, whenever I need her, text her, Valerie, I need this. Valerie already gives me a contact. Like, it's just amazing mm-hmm. how she works and I am so thankful and so blessed. And the crazy thing is that just the way we met, it was just through an ad I found on Instagram and we met. And then just to find out she lives seven minutes, eight minutes away from me. And I'm just like, wow, you're a friend oh, for a life. I'm telling you, we're like, mm-hmm. we joke around with like, well, next thing, baby shower, like not anytime soon, but baby shower. Like she's already my wedding. She's already my um, planner. And like, also mm-hmm. she does decorations and event planning. So I'm already so happy that God um, has put her in my life. So for mm-hmm. all the Dallas brides, make sure you guys check her out. And um, I will, you 
you know, add her information um, on um, our page. And um, for my favorite brand for the wedding, I would say um, Wedding Wire. So we use Wedding Wire um, for our um, planning on having all our guest names and also um, setting um, up the information for meals. Um, it was very helpful. I know a lot of people use Zola. I think that's what it's called, Zola. <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, we use Wedding Wire and it was really good and efficient. Um, so I would definitely recommend Wedding Wire. So yeah, that's all for this episode. So make sure you guys um, tune in and we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Bye. Right, bye.